Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use text group in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Once again, I repeat, the topic is how to use text group in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. And let me see what are the objectives we are going to discuss during this presentation. First, we are going to see how to use text box and how to handle header and footer, how to insert the word art, and how to insert date and time in a slide, and how to update it. And next is the slide number, and last is the object. So these are the things we are going to cover using this presentation. Okay. So first, open Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Whenever you open a Microsoft PowerPoint 2010, by default home tab is active where this entire area is called as an user interface where user can able to interact with powerpoint using different types of commands and next to home tab you can able to see is a insert tab you just click this tab and where you can able to find text group so this is our object view these are the things we are going to discuss or cover in this presentation first is a text box header and footer and word art date and time and slide number and object okay so let us say okay i'm just changing font colors okay i'm going to duplicate it uh, shortcut is control D okay now we'll start so go to insert tab first I'm going to insert text box so a text box is nothing but a, a box which contain text a place where we can able to insert our text let us say fisherman training institute okay Salala. Okay, so, so this is called as text box. So whenever you want to enter a text, apart from the layout, you can use a text box. And if you want to format this, here you can able to see a tab called as format. You just click this tab. If you want to insert shapes or text box, if you need some other text box, or else if you want to change the style of the text box, just see. and we can able to change it as we like if you want to fill or else if you want to insert pictures or if you need gradients textures or some other colors you can able to fill it as you like based upon your desired requirement we can able to fill it for example if you want to change the word art style font style see it changes okay so this is how so text fill if you want to change the text color so everything can be done so text effect is there shadow or something else reflection glow so you can able to avail what are the options based upon your desired requirements so, so this is the use of text box where you can able to enter the text and next comes your header and footer you just click this header and footer so here header and footer where you can able to see date and time so which will update automatically and if you need the date format date and date format you can able to select this date and time format and or else if you need a fixed date you can use this fixed date and if you need the slide number see here the slide number comes see just click it and here are the slide number will come and if you want to apply footer you can you are allowed to enter the footer let's say uh, okay and apply to all so where you can able to see uh, date and text as well as the page number so word art see for example if you want to change this just click this and if you want to change your word art you can able to change it see yes you are allowed to change you can do anything as you like just select it 
and do the changes what you need so it's a word art style and next comes your date and time so here you are allowed to this is specifically for your date and time where you can insert your date and time so there are two options just insert it here while going to header and footer here you can able to find date and time or else here is a date and time you can select it and use it update automatically and click it ok see here now the date and time has been installed and which will be automatically updated and last comes your slide number if you want to use slide number you can use the slide number and ants out for ants out is nothing but the notes apart from your layout where you can able to give some additional information just like in cookies for that if you need date and time if you need automatic update or fixed date and time if you need a header and footer let us say Sam and footer if you need let us say Sam and apply to all so which will be applied only to the answer let us say uh, here is answer hi okay later I will tell you how to view this okay so let it be and save it I'm going to save and desktop and welcome okay fine and now let me see the object is what is an object see whenever you want to incorporate an external object to PowerPoint you want to use the objects for example if you need Acrobat Reader or bitmap image or Microsoft equation or Microsoft 97 or Excel sheet so a chart graph anything anything you can able to integrate to your presentation using the option called as object just I will explain you by inserting Acrobat Reader 7 just click OK so it will ask for you want to open a uh, PDF portable document see now it's opening inside your presentation you can make it you can customize it okay and you now you run your presentation and see what will happen how to run your presentation slideshow and from beginning so this is Acrobat Reader where you can able to open this so once again we will do it so go to insert and object and select Adobe Acrobat 7.0 document and open any video file and just run it okay so now you can able to see how to use this once again I repeat go to insert and object whenever you want to open any any external object to your PowerPoint presentation use this option called as objects now you are allowed to open this okay fine at last now I will tell you how to view this notes okay so you type something okay so go to file and go to print and here also you can able to edit your header and footer here also the same option will come right so header and footer will be available in two places one is inside the insert tab other one is inside the print here will be having header and footer your full page here comes your note page see where you can able to see all your notes what are the notes you have typed see I welcome all everything right so which gives you an additional information about your presentation is called notes this is how you want to use the note page I think you may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video thank you